You're watching NASA Direct. Reporting for duty in the early morning hours of September 27th, KSE's damage assessment and recovery team began assessing the damage Hurricane Jean left behind. Vehicle assembly building lost an additional 30 panels, bringing the total to 850, most from Jean on the north doors on the east side of the vehicle assembly building. The south face lost some additional panels as well, um, most enlarging some of the areas that were open to the outside. Some of these uh, panels are very light and have wide surface area, so they uh, flew some distance uh, from the VAB all the way out uh, to near the uh, North Causeway. Processing Control Center had some additional uh, roof damage in the general area where repairs were made uh, previously. In the orbiter processing facility hangars, the landing gear were bagged this time instead of raising the gear because there was no storm surge threat. And in addition, the uh, areas around the leading edges of the wings were bagged for protection, as well as the uh, nose cap, which is also very sensitive. The Central Instrumentation Facility's remote antenna site received some damage. These antennas are used mostly for receiving data and also some video. The Operations and Checkout Building had uh, roof damage, which was also a problem during Francis, only the uh, roof damage uh, for Gene was uh, worse. There was actually about a five-foot hole in the roof, which uh, let a lot of rain into the fifth floor of the uh, operations should check out building so that uh, that area of the building is not going to be able to be used until uh, those uh, rooms have been uh, repaired. The south side of the vertical processing facility also had some loss of panels which caused some water intrusion into the airlock. The space station processing facility area had uh, a number of traffic lights that were down. The multi-payload processing facility had uh, damage to the roof that will need to be repaired before a payload can be processed through there. The Swiss spacecraft is at Hangar AE and the damage there was from Hurricane Francis. Hangar AF had some roof damage from Gene that uh, had not occurred during Francis. Not serious, but uh, it did allow some water into the office areas. The uh, railroad tracks, which are part of the NASA railroad leading into Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, they uh, had uh, wave damage that uh, washed sand over the tracks, and uh, for access to the Titan complex, those railroad tracks will have to be uh, cleared of sand and debris before they're usable. The launch pads, uh, pad 39A and B for shuttle, neither had uh, any damage at all from uh, either of the two hurricanes. Saturn V facility had roof damage from Hurricane Francis and it became more extensive after Hurricane Jean. That uh, facility was observed by helicopter by NASA Center Director Jim Kennedy. Despite experiencing three hurricanes in six weeks, Kennedy Space Center has weathered the storms and is still moving forward toward return to flight. 